Hey you guys, this is Zach from Wave Riders 14 here again to show you how to make an intro and uh, this is what we're going to be making today. Alright, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is import a texture from Video Copilot's Evolution series and it is texture 31 and it looks like that then we are going to insert a video track and text media and I use the font called SF movie poster if you don't have it you can probably download it at www.thefont.com it has a lot of cool fonts and mine came with it but if you don't have it then you can probably download it there and we're going to leave it at white so we don't need to go to properties but the effects we want a black outline and I usually uh, there there that looks pretty good you don't you kinda it looks plain without the outline but you don't want it to be like too noticeable like that or anything so let's just move that back that's good enough alright then we're going to stretch it out let me zoom in some where's the 8 second mark right there we're going to stretch both of these out to the 8 seconds you'll see why later but we're going to go to the event pan crop and at the zero second we're going to leave it like that but then at the four we're going to zoom in a little like that and at the eight seconds we're going to zoom in even more okay and then we're going to add the gaussian blur that's what i'm going to go with today that's how i'm going to pronounce it and at zero seconds we want both of them to be at one. Then at the 115 mark, I do not know where that is, right there. We're going to move it back to zero. And then at the four second mark, we're going to leave it at zero, so we'll just add a point. And then at the five seconds, we are going to just give it a little bit right there alright and then we'll just add a fade for net right now you'll see why later and then we'll just add a fade on this one too alright and then we are going to add a video track and right there at the four seconds we're going to insert text media this is the one that's going to say presents and again SF movie poster and we're going to basically do the same type I guess you could call it I think this was right there and this one was a little more actually point one hundred more if you want to get real specific and then we're going to go to the event pan, event pan crop again and we're just going to leave it well no we're not we're going to zoom it in a little actually a lot no not a lot right there and then we're going to go to the 4 seconds and we're just going to hit right click and hit restore and then we are going to add a blur again to this one and the blur at the 0 mark we'll set it at 100 again and then at the 115 mark it's going to be 0 so you're basically going to get the same effect as the last one as the 
your main, like your title, which in my case would be Wave Riders 14. And then this one we can fade, well, 15 I think I had it at. If I can get it there. Maybe I'll zoom a little. There we go. Okay, so this is what we got. Hopefully it's not laggy. Yeah, it's a little laggy. And then the fade, making it like kind of fade out, making the presents fade out a little later. It just gives gives it more, makes it stand out a little more. You can still see it right there better than the rest. And what I did was I think I added this one, I think. So then it kind of waits and then fades off real fast. I don't know, but for some reason it's not letting me click on it now. But you can add, there we go, you can add any of these you want, whichever one fits yours better. But uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Looks pretty good. And then the reason you keep the Wave Riders 14 faded in is it kind of makes the presents pop out a little more. Whereas instead of like that, it just kind of looks a little plain. That just makes it pop a little bit more. And uh, the sound effects and stuff that you heard in the, I don't know what it's called, the beginning part, I guess. That was downloaded or imported from Designer Sound Effects, which is also a video copilot product. It has a bunch of cool ones. I use Swishes. I don't remember which ones, but there's like a hundred of these. And then there's a hundred. There, it's a good package to get just for everything. But uh, I think that pretty much sums up this tutorial. This, remember my name is Zach and uh, if you have any suggestions, questions, comments, anything, just leave me a comment or message me and uh, I'll do my best to answer you or whatever, but uh, thanks.